What is good YouTube? It's your boy Louie. Welcome to my channel Louie's Laces. I hope you're all good and having a great day. I'm back with another in-depth review and on-foot look for you guys today. And the shoe we're going to be taking a look at is the Skepta SK Air Nike Air Max Tailwind 5 Bloody Chromes. <laughs> These released Saturday the 12th of June and they retailed for £160 here in the UK. So we're going to take a look at the box guys, I'll get the shoe out, we'll talk about the shoe a bit, then I'll get onto the review and onto the on foot look for you. So the box, I mean these SK Air and Skepta collab boxes, sorry these Skepta and Nike collab boxes are really dope, I really like them. They're a draw out box, they're blacked out, you have the black big night logo on the top in that shiny black and on each side this side you have your pink SK Air logo with that red print in the background which is the print that you actually get on the shoe and that's on the other side as well and the colorway on these read black and chrome red so we'll pop open the box draw it out like I said it's a draw out box and inside the paper is white with them black and red butterflies on because the shoe is basically themed around the life cycle of a, of a butterfly. I think Skepta's just obviously got some sort of love or some sort of um, fascination with butterflies. So that's on the paper there. And it's actually double papered. So you've just got some normal white tissue paper inside. Then we'll take out the shoes, guys. So, you have your SK Air, Nike Air Max Tailwind 5 Bloody Chromes. Now, they did actually release back in April the exact same shoe, just in like a light blue version. Um, I have reviewed that, it's over on the channel. If you want to check that out, it's up there for you to watch. Um, and it is literally the exact same silhouette, the exact same shoe, just they switched up the red to the light blue. Now, I did say back then that because um, pictures of these had surfaced that these were going to be coming out and I did say back then that I preferred the blue version that's still true to this day now I've got the red ones in hand now they finally dropped them um, but they are still really dope I just prefer blue to red if I'm completely honest but they are still really really dope and this is actually the um, sixth instalment of the Nike and Skepta collabs um, so far we've had the um, Nike Shocks the Nike Air Max 97 BWs, the Nike Air Max 97 Ultras, the Nike Air Max Deluxe, the blue version of these Nike Air Max Tailwind 5s. And actually on the same day as they released these, they actually released a um, football boot. I think they were called the Phantom GT Elites. And they were the bloody chrome colorway as well, like the same as these, the same kind of colorway as this shoe. And that just shows you like really how big of an influence Skepta is, the fact that he's, you know, a music artist, doesn't really have anything to do with football, and he's actually collabed with Nike on a football boot, so, you know, it just shows the influence he really has, and here in the UK, I don't know about anybody else, but for me personally, like, obviously, Wiley is the godfather of Grime, but for me, Skepta is the GOAT, I don't care what anybody says, for me, musically, Nobody can fuck with him, basically, here in the UK especially. And he's done so well with, you know, breaking through over into America, doing collabs with big names, ASAP Rocky, and, you know, all the other people he's collabed with. And, you know, I'm just massively, massively proud of him. And to see where he's got to, I grew up watching him on YouTube. And, um, you know, if, if any, I did speak about this a lot in, in the last video I did when I released the, uh, sorry, when I reviewed the blue version of these. But, um, so I don't want to go into it too much for anybody who's already watched that. But, 
if you only know Skepta for his big tunes like Shut Down and you know tunes like that, his big mainstream tunes, I really would recommend going back on YouTube and checking out checking out his old stuff, his old freestyles, his old tunes because like the guy is just an absolute legend and you know I've been a big big massive fan from day so anytime he drops a shoe I'm always looking to support and, and grab the shoe and it just so helps as well that the shoes are always dope like I think the um the Nike Air Max 97 Ultras they're one of the best Nike Air Max 97s out there to be honest with you I do think all of his collabs with Nike are really dope and I think as well that um he's got like the longest running not not the longest but one of the longest running like collaborations with nike you know like obviously you have your travis scott collabs and you have your you know celebrities whether they're um artists or musicians or sportsmen sports people collaborating with nike i think he's one of like the longest running um mu uh, musical artist collabs with nike so you know he's doing really really well um, so with all that said guys, I'm going to get into the review and I'll work my way around the shoe uh, and get a detailed look so you guys can really see what's going on with this um, SK Air Nike Air Max Tailwind 5, the bloody chromes. And I'll start with the sole. So on the sole, just have a pure black sole. And you've got that red, pat, that red panel running through the middle with them black lines through it. And on the side here, in these grips, you've got these little white balls. They almost look like little golf balls. I'm guessing they're just something to do with um, kind of the mechanism of the, the sole. Just, uh, they, they must do something. They must be for some, you know, reason. Me personally, I don't actually know what for, but yeah, they're on the sole there. And then working up to the midsole, we've got a black midsole with these obvious air bubbles the whole way around. They just work that way her whole way around. Then on the middle of the midsole here, we've got this chrome strip that actually runs into the upper. And it's the same on the inside as well. Um, working our way to the toe box, they've got like a leather, a leather panel wrapped around the front of the, the, just the toe of the shoe here in black and then an obvious vocal point about this shoe you've got these like plastic black lines that actually form butterfly wings if you can catch that they actually form a butterfly wing obviously which the shoe is themed around that butterfly that obviously then wings wrap the whole way around there and they're formed in them black rubbery plasticky type of i don't know what the material is to be honest with you then on the side here, you've got your chrome Nike swoosh on the outside, same on the inside. Underneath them wings and swoosh is this red soft material with like black lines running through it, faint black lines. And then obviously breaking this part of the shoe up to the heel, that chrome that works its way up from the midsole is on the side there. And on the inside, but on the inside, you've got this black, black triangle inside that black panel. Then working around the ankle support and the heel itself, it's this holographic iridescent, which is actually inspired by um, Skepta's 2019 album, Ignorance is Bliss. If you go and look at that, or you might know it if you don't, like it's all like holographic and iridescent colours. That's what like the kind of the album, all the artwork was themed around. So they put that on there for that, I believe. And it really is like in some pictures, it looks like it's black and it's not. It's real like purple, yellow, you know, that holographic iridescent. And then on the heel on the back here, you've got this black strip with a white Max Air lettering through with the white lines at the side. Then the lining of the shoe is this black material and it's almost like got grids on it. The tongue of the shoe is that red material again with them black lines running through, working up to that holographic iridescent panel with the silver stitched tailwind 
and the SK Air logo in black and silver on the top of the tongue. Obviously all over top of that holographic iridescent panel. The laces with this, they come with a black lace, just a pure black lace, but they do actually give you an extra um, pair, set of laces. They did this with the blue version of these as well. And it's got them white lines or silvery lines around the outside, which will actually probably go with the, um, the lace holders because they've got them little silver lines on the black with the silver lines. So probably might switch them up to be honest. They probably will suit the shoe a lot better. Um, and get back to this shoe. The um, insert of the shoe is just pure black with that pink SK Air logo inside. And I love the SK Air logo. I'm a big fan of the SK Air logo. I'm just a big fan of the SK Airs in general, to be honest. Um, but that's pretty much every aspect of this shoe. Um, let me know in the comments, what are you guys thinking about these Nike Air Max Tailwind 5 SK Airs? Obviously the Skepta collab. What are your thoughts on them? Did you get them? Did you just miss on them because you're not feeling them? You know, are you looking to get them because you didn't manage to get them when they dropped? I know they did release them on, they released them on the sneakers app, but they did release them on, I think, Size, um, Foot Patrol. I'm not sure if JD Sports had them, I'm not too sure, but to be fair, I don't think they were too hard to get hold of. Um, I actually bought mine from uh, Size, you know, 160 pounds, easy, all sizes were on there. So yeah, um, not hard to get hold of at all. So if you weren't lucky on sneakers app and you haven't bothered checking anywhere else, I would go and have a look about because they're definitely um, out there in numerous sizes. So that just about wraps up the review guys. So I am gonna get onto the on foot look. Thank you so much for coming over and giving my video a watch. I really do appreciate you guys. If you enjoyed it, please feel free to hit the like button. If you wanna help me out and help the channel out and subscribe, I'd really appreciate that too. And other than that, guys, as always, have a great rest of your day. Take care of yourselves, stay healthy, stay positive, and hopefully I will see you in the next one.